So I've been playing with this MetroHit coil motor testing multimeter from Gossam MetroWatt for a couple of months now. I've done various tests, predominantly on three phase motors and a few calibration checks here and there. This is the main meter that's come in the kit. It also comes with this coil test adapter. And this is the element that's unique to this instrument for testing for inter-turn faults in motor windings. It also comes with a set of test leads. These ones, the leads are reasonably okay, but they don't come with any crocodile clips. Um, and they are actually, yeah, uh, Adapters, so they do have the GS38 cap comes off and you do have uh, the banana style adapter on the end there uh, So you can use a standard set of four millimeter crop clips to carry out the tests with which they do actually recommend But don't actually provide within the kit So the meter itself various functions on there fairly unique to the metro hit really is these dual functionality on the rotary switch um, if you turn them on, so the insulation test function is shared with the coil test function and then moving around to volts AC that's shared with the frequency again you can change the function by pressing the function key and change it to Hertz duty cycle, low pass filter on the voltage as well and on the frequency if you want to and back to voltage DC, DC you can share with a DCAC function and also a clamp if you have one. Uh, only has a resistance range, it doesn't have an earth bond range for testing motors with, so that is missing a little bit for me really. Uh, continuity function shared with the diode. Again, change with the function button themselves. You can have uh, temperature either via an RTD or a thermocouple and then the capacitance range finally and then moving around a little bit more you have the amps functions now this metro hit range does also include Gossens safety feature I've only ever really seen this on Gossens metro watt instruments they actually have a blank on milliamp amp function when you're on any of the voltage ones it stays there and I can't actually physically get a probe in to that jack. Uh, also if, if I have a test lead in the voltage then when I try and go around I can't actually switch this round to the amps function. It won't let me, well, physically won't let me. Um, as soon as I pull them out so you can see let's move around to the amps and the blank changes over and blocks off the volt function now and releases the amp. So again I can't plug them in there. If I plug into the amps can't change back off of an amp function without taking the lead out first. Um, it is my favourite way, I think it is without a shadow of a doubt the safest way of stopping the, the error of measuring a voltage whilst you're in a, a milliamp function.